Okay guys, welcome back to the Swift login system tutorial. This is the last episode of the shared UI stuff, and then we're gonna be branching into Firebase and Node.js. So the Firebase version will be the first version, and then we're gonna do Node.js. So in this episode, we're gonna be making an alert manager. So just an easier way to send alerts so we don't have to type like let alert equals UI UI alert controller and then add all the actions and all that. So we're gonna make it very easy um, and reusable. So I just closed everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a group called controllers and I'm gonna put all of the controllers in there. So we got the home login register controller and forgot password controller. So we're gonna put all those in there. And we're gonna make a new file, a Swift file. And we're gonna call it alert manager. So we're gonna say, we're gonna copy that. This needs to import UI kit. And we're gonna say class alert manager. And then we can also just start off by making an extension that we'll just copy and paste. So what we're gonna want is a function to show a basic alert. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna say private static func show basic alert. Then we're going to say on VC UI view controller. And then we're going to do with title string. And then we're going to do and message string optional. Then open the function. So now we're going to say let alert equals UI alert controller. Open the initializer. We're going to do title and we're gonna pass in the title message preferred style is dot alert, okay? So then we're gonna say alert dot add action. And we're gonna say UI alert action. We're gonna say title uh, dismiss dot, uh, style is dot default and then the handler is nil. So then what we're gonna do, we're actually going to say dispatch dispatchq.main.async. Then we're gonna just actually copy and paste this stuff in. And then we're gonna say vc.present. We're gonna say alert animated is true and Completion is nil, but I think we can just delete this. So what's happening here is we're gonna pass the view controller that we're using. So for example, if we're in login controller, we're gonna pass the view controller in here and it's gonna uh, it's gonna show the alert on that view controller. It's gonna make it very easy to show alerts. So now if we come down to our extension, we're gonna be, so like obviously when you type in an email, if you have an email like, like a a at a dot com like obviously that's a fake email we want to do a little bit of validation on the client side the ios side so we're gonna say mark show validation alerts so these are going to be errors so the first one we're going to do is public static func show invalid email alert and we're going to open it up on vc UI view controller and then we're going to open up the function with the curly braces we're going to say self dot show basic alert on vc and then this is where we're going to put in the title we're going to say invalid email and the message so actually i don't um think we need this with and this and let's just get rid of it so it's a little bit more obvious so title and message so the message is going to be please enter a valid email so how this would be called in a view controller we can just open up a login controller and i'll just go to the view view did appear here what you would do is you'd say alert manager dot show invalid email on self and then that would uh it makes it much easier than typing out all of this here every time we want to show an alert. 
So that's all we're doing in this episode. We're just going to do this a bunch. So the next one, we're going to copy and paste this twice. Okay, so we're going to do show invalid password alert. So then we're just going to change this invalid password. Please enter a valid password. And then we're going to do show invalid username alert. And then invalid username. Please enter a valid username. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to copy this extension and we're going to call this this mark is going to be registration errors and we're going to say we're just going to copy this up here again we're going to say show registration error alert on vc so for the title we're just going to say unknown registration error and then for the message i'm just going to make it nil okay so we're just going to copy and paste that and we're going to say show it's going to be the same title but we're also going to pass in an error so with error error and then for the message we're going to do string interpolation and then error dot localized description what happened here okay and this error is going to be passed from firebase or node.js so in the case that there is no error message you would use this one and in the case there is we would use this one so then we're going to do sign in error so we're just going to copy this we're going to paste it we're going to do log in errors. So unknown error. We're going to say unknown error signing in. And let's just copy and paste that. Or actually, this title needs to be show sign in error. So we're going to copy and paste that. And this time we want it with the error and the message is going to be the same as the registration error and delete this and build it and it should work so the next one is logging out error let's just copy this again so log out errors then we're going to copy the one with the error message and we're going to say show log out error logout error um <clears throat> so show logout error logout error so that's all we need next we're going to do forgot password error so we're going to copy this again forgot password and we're going to remove this errors so we're going to copy this logout error paste it we're going to say show error sending password reset and then self.show basic alert and the title is error sending password reset okay and now we're going to find one without the error parameter and then we're going to paste it we're going to say show password reset sent on VC and we're going to say password reset sent message is nil and then we're going to say <clears throat> extension or we're just going to copy it and we're going to say fetching user errors okay so static funk or again we're just going to copy it keep trying to type these out and it would just take so long. So we're gonna say show fetching user error. And we're gonna do error fetching user. And that should be good. And then we're gonna grab this up here without the error. And we're gonna say 
show unknown fetching user error. And we're going to say for the title unknown error fetching user. And then the message is nil. So that should be good. So one thing is on this show sign in error, we don't need this unknown because it's not unknown. We have the error code. Okay, so that's it for this one. We're going to move on to Firebase next. And then after that, we're going to do Node.js. So that's all I have for you guys. If you're excited about the next videos, then please subscribe. And if you like the video, please leave a like. If you have a question or a better way of doing this alert manager, feel free to leave your suggestions or questions or whatever. But that is all. Thank you.